Okay, so we're looking at uh, the piano one part of the Bohemian verse page. Uh, let's take measures one through ten. Here we go. I'll give you two beats of rest. Rest, 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 rest. right there so um, you have pretty much except for that one little you only have octaves here so uh, your first set of octaves and again an octave is you're playing on the D string and then or all of these octaves at least you're gonna be, be starting it either on the D or the G string and then you're gonna go up two strings so that'll take you to the B string and up three frets so you should have two open frets in between and uh, one open string in between. If you hit those notes together, wherever you go, you're going to get the same note in a different register, an octave. Okay. So uh, first you have um, G's, G's and F's. So that is, um, I'll give you the low string here. So it'll go... On the D string, you'll go five, three. So this finger goes five, three, and then that pinky just follows it. Okay? Uh, you'll do that for three measures, and then you are going to go up to seven, five for a, yeah, an A and a G. Then you're going to jump up a string. So now this finger's on the G string, this one's on the E string, and you're going to do, do 7, 5 for a uh, D and a C. Okay, so so far you've gone three times, once, once, and then you're going to have this little chord arpeggiation. This is a C minor and an F dominant 7. This is a really cool chord, so let me take a second with it. So your C minor voicing is going to go on the bottom three strings. These will both be on the bottom three strings, on G, B, and E. So you're going to go 5, 4, 3, and it's the rhythm is rest and 2 and. So it's rest. And then the next set is going to be, again, and I'm, and I'm using my uh, third, second, and first finger. And then I'm going to go up here for eight six eight and the fingers i recommend using are third first and fourth and you're going to do the same rhythm there and four and so it's rest that's a really nice sound so put them together it goes rest rest okay and you come right back here for Things get a little bit different here in measure nine. Uh, you're still playing, so you'll go. You need to get to a C octave, but these are lower. Now, because of our tuning funny business on the guitar, when we start our octaves now on the A and the E string, we don't go up two frets. It's not as big as a stretch. You still go up two strings. So you're going to go A, skip the D string up to the G string, but you're only going to go up one fret when you do octaves down here. So it's going to kind of look like a power chord, except you're going up two strings instead of just up to the next string. Okay? And that one starts on three and five. So again, I'll just give you what this lower finger is doing. So it goes three, two, one. to measure 10 and you'll be open and you can do that here with open A 
and fret to G. So it's the same shape here, it's just now I gotta do it with an open string. Or you can come to here if it makes more sense, because you're gonna continue down on this string. So we can go. And that is now having moved down to the E string as my low note for this A. You're gonna go again E, up one string, or up, sorry, skip the A up to the D string. So we're on five, seven. And again, you're just going to keep moving down chromatically. You're going to go A, A flat, G. So you go. And then the same thing here. Okay. Uh, good luck.